Joining me right now is former Arkansas governor and former presidential candidate himself, Mike Huckabee. Governor, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure, Maria. To what do you attribute this new strength from Ted Cruz that we're seeing? I mean, evangelicals, very conservative voters, clearly going for Ted Cruz in Wisconsin. What do you think is most important to voters there? Well, it's apparent that one thing that always wins an election, if you spend time, if you have extensive organization, uh, and if you're connecting with those voters and you're staying away from controversy. And Ted Cruz has been able to pretty much do that in Wisconsin. It's, uh, it's also very clear that he has been able to rally the establishment around him, whether it's Scott Walker, conservative talk radio uh, host who have rallied around him. So he's kind of uh, vacuumed up a lot of the key support that would help a Republican in a primary there. But Maria, I'm going to make some big news today. There are four of us who had suspended our campaigns. And, you know, we've used that term carefully, suspend, not end. And as of today, we are back in. We're still on the ballot. That announcement will come later this morning. And uh, we've decided that there's just too much rancor, too much uh, absurdity going on. And we will go in to make sure that it goes to the convention. Wait a minute. And we have specifically chosen this day, April 1st, for me to make this announcement. So is this an April Fool's joke? I had you going. You got to admit it. I had you at least thinking. <laughs> oh, you're trying to trick yeah, me yeah, here yeah. on April Fool's Day. <laughs> so you're okay, but you did hey. suspend. It was really so. But what you just said is not yes. true. You're not back in. No. <laughs> no, I, I'm out of the you're cesspool. I'm swimming in cleaner water these days. Uh, so no, I'm not. But I, 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 I only, I only want yeah. to capture the expression on your face for the world to see, you got because it. I know that there was like. You've got to be kidding. And yeah, yes, I was. Exactly. Four of us back in. Yeah, I was, yeah. I'm thinking, what? Uh, <laughs> but I, I wanted to smile on this April Fool's Day. So thank you for that. But I, I want to ask you about because you mentioned the endorsement from uh, Scott Walker. You yeah. know that there's a uh, Marquette University Law School poll that, that asked about Walker's um, job performance. 53% did not approve of Walker, while 43.2% did approve. So I ask you how important or impactful. Uh, that endorsement is. Well, keep in mind, though, that poll was of all voters. So the Democrats, of course, don't like Walker. And there's always a few Republicans who don't like you, even if you're a Republican. So th that was not a poll specifically of the Republican voters. Therefore, it really would show that 43% of the Republican or 43% of the overall population, I would say a strong majority of true Republicans in Wisconsin, especially primary voting Republicans, are very much in favor of Scott Walker. You know, Governor, my read here is that everything that's been thrown at Trump in Wisconsin, if he can come out of there with a third of the voters behind him, that's a victory. Am I, am I crazy, or, or, does, or do you read that the same way? Well, I think so. And look, Wisconsin is an interesting state where the Republicans are really Republicans and the Democrats are really Democrats. This isn't a purple state. People think of it that way, but it's only purple because you have bright red, bright blue. But the blue is blue and the red is red. This is not an ambiguous state. And so, uh, you know, for Ted Cruz to be winning among conservatives, these are really staunch conservatives. And he has spent the time there. He's spent the money there. He's had the organization there. Uh, it, look, it, it, it was do or die for Cruz. If he lost Wisconsin, it was a mortal wound. It's not a mortal wound for Donald Trump. He was never expected to do as well there mm. as he will in places like New York, California. If Trump doesn't win New York, then, you know, then he's got trouble. But Wisconsin is not a do or die for him. All right. So, uh, Governor Huckabee, it's Sandra Smith here. Um, in this latest Fox Business poll, while we're talking about Cruz and Trump, Kasich's still part of the conversation. And I'm not just talking about the fact that he eats pizza with a fork. Uh, Kasich garnering 19 percent <laughs> of the vote in Wisconsin. Uh, and I think we're about to hear a pretty big call from Barron's on, on, on Kasich as well. What, what do you think the conversation is behind closed doors? We know Donald Trump just met with the RNC and Ryan's Priebus. What's the conversation the GOP is having about Kasich right now and his involvement in this race? Well, he has every right to be in the race. I'm one who believes that it's incredibly inappropriate for people to try to put pressure on a candidate to get out. They're not the ones who got him in. They're not the ones who have kept him going. He has every right to run, and he has every right to stay in the race. And this idea of, well, he needs to get out. And we heard this about Rubio. We heard this about virtually every candidate. I heard it about me. I get, you know, that whole idea. But this is an election. It's not a selection. So let the voters decide. They'll sort it out. 
And I just think it's incredibly, uh, not just wrong, it's frankly insulting to a person who's gone out there and given a year or more of his life to an effort for people who never have been really supportive of him to say, you know, what you need to get out. That's none of their yeah. business. It's John Kasich's decision to make. And I think he stays in as long as he wants to stay in uh, for his sake and for the voters and for his supporters but who this, are this, still supporting is, him. Is he hurting Cruz? Because a lot of people feel like he needs to get out. Certainly the anti-Trump people are, are feeling like, you know, with him in the race, he's hurting um, Ted Cruz from gaining more delegates. Well, you know, I mean, other people would say, is Cruz hurting Kasich? Right. Yeah, Maybe that's Cruz true. should yeah, step that's aside. True. Sure. Because Cruz, you know, Cruz could be argued doesn't have as good a path to the general election as maybe a John Kasich, Great point. who probably would K Kasich do better. Pulls, so, you know, Kasich polls so much higher against Hillary Clinton than Cruz does, direct head to head. Well, that's so, true. Yeah, head to so, head. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And, and the, frankly, the polls at this point don't mean anything. Ronald Reagan was behind Jimmy Carter by 15 points in March of 1980, went on to win in the landslide. So whatever the polls show today, even in a general election matchup, I keep hearing these, well, this guy does better against Hillary. Forget all of that. It means nothing. Because this election has not even been set yet. And the issues will be reformulated three or four times before we get to November. So, Governor, you think anything can happen at this convention? It absolutely can. Yeah. And wow. for anybody to say, here's what's going to happen, we don't know. Governor, what's your uh, wildest could, could you forecast told me for what happens at that convention? What's, your, what's, your, what, what's the, the, the out there uh, theory that you have that could come out of that? Well, I still think there's a real possibility that Donald Trump will get the delegates necessary to win prior to the convention. And that saves what could be a real train wreck and a Donnybrook. Yeah. Because if we get to the convention, and you have two candidates, let's say Cruz and, and Trump, who have the most votes, and Trump is by far in the lead, and then somehow he is not going to get the nomination and is denied it, I think you're going to see an uprising, not so much on the convention floor, because those are the, you know, the, the, the loyal, the faithful, the true. Right. But out there in America, the people who have just torn their shirts to help Donald Trump, uh, there will be an uprising, and yeah. it will not be pretty. And, and I don't mean violent. I yeah. just mean these will be people who will say, forget it. I won't vote at all, or I'll go vote for a third party, or I'll vote for Hillary. Uh, but but it's, not, it's not the way that the party wants to shape this election. Right. Sure. Governor, good to speak with you, as always. Thanks so much.